Hello, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. A few years ago, I was at one of the Minnesota Department of Health quarterly radon meetings where we talk everything radon with a whole bunch of radon nerds. And one of the speakers asked the question, hey, who in here keeps their radon test kits in their vehicle? And a few hands went up. I'm sure I kept mine down trying to stay under the radar. Uh, but he went on to say that doing so can actually skew the results that you get from your, air, your test kit. So about seven months ago, I decided, hey, I'm gonna do a test on that because I've been thinking about it ever since. And I took these two test kits out of my inventory and I stuck those in my van uh, above the visor. And they have been sitting there for the last seven months, exposed to 100 degree temperatures and the 20 below degree temperatures. And these two are gonna be my control. These are brand new air check test kits. I just got these today. And then here we've got uh, just kind of an older one. I just wanted to see how it stacked up. And a fun fact about air check test kits is that they will still process them six months past the expiration date, which is what these two are. They were six months past, and this one's six months past uh, as well. So we are gonna see how they stack up against the new control ones. And then just for giggles, I added all these other radon monitors that I had on hand. So what I've got here, these four are eco trackers. Now these are uh, for the professional, and they're great for diagnostics. Here I've got the Radon Eye Pro by EcoSense. And in all honesty, this one is out of calibration. It should have been calibrated about a year ago. And I just don't do a lot of radon testing. I actually don't do any radon testing anymore. We just do mitigation. Now this one I do still have in calibration and it was calibrated about four months ago. So this would be our best control uh, aside from these two. And then here I've just got an Eco Blue by EcoSense consumer grade monitor, as well as the EcoCube by EcoSense, also a consumer grade monitor. And then these are all air check test kits. Here's what the packaging for an air check test kit looks like. So I'm gonna leave these all exposed. This house does have a radon system. I did shut it off this morning and I did cap uh, the radon system. So hopefully it doesn't act like a passive system and we can get some actually elevated uh, radon levels in this test. So I am going to let these run and then I will uh, two day ship the air check back to the lab and then we will check back in when we get results. A few moments later. All right, we've had all of our air check test kits and our radon monitors exposed for four days and we've got our results back from the lab. So our EcoCube came back at 1.6, the EcoBlue at 1.59, the AirThings Pro at 1.0, the Radon Eye Pro at 1.34, the Eco Tracker at 1.55, and then the other three Eco Trackers at 1.45. Then for our air check test kits, this one was six months past the expiration, but in a controlled environment, uh, meaning it was inside with uh, me at all times. It wasn't left in my van. Was 1.5. The new air check test kit, which was, we're calling Control One came back at 1.5. Our six month expired uncontrolled air check test kit, this is the one that I had in my van for seven months in the hot and the cold, came back at 1.6. Our second new control came back at 1.5. And then our second uncontrolled one that was in my van uh, came back at 1.9. So a few takeaways that I found interesting were how close our eco trackers were compared to the consumer grade EcoSense monitors, and then how those were also very close to our control uh, air check test kits. Also, all of our controlled air check test kits came back uh, the same, all at 1.5, whether they were brand new or six months past expiration. So our two outliers were the uncontrolled air check test kit, and then our uh, AirThings Pro, monitor that is within calibration, which I found very interesting. We'll put links to all the products featured in this video in the description below. And keep in mind with EcoSense, we do have a promo code that'll be in the description below. One thing also to mention is if you're a homeowner or you're a radon mitigator, we do offer consulting. Uh, so if you'd like a helping hand or an extra set of eyes on your project, uh, feel free to reach out to us. We'll put that link in the description below. 
And until next time, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. Thank you so much for watching.